Team. Hey guys, Hobbs here, and I know I said I was going to do a second part to my mech maneuvers guide, but this one I want to talk much more about finding your playstyle, because as I was recording the second part to my mech maneuvers guide, I found that a lot of it is really, really dependent upon playstyle, you know, the whole concept of smoothness. Now, I'm going to go over smoothness because I did promise you guys this, because that's pretty much all I was going to talk about in the second part anyways. What it really comes down to is your ability to string together moves and move in a way that you are comfortable with. It's getting comfortable with the controls, essentially. Being able to pull stuff off as if it was naturally. And all it really comes down to, there really is no tips or any tricks I can really recommend to you guys. I mean, of course, I could show you techniques and stuff to use, but how you use them together. It's just, um, you know, it's almost an art unto itself. And like any art, there isn't really a specific way like, art in general, there is no right way to art. There just isn't. There's all different types of styles inside of the game. And so when I say there's a uh, how to move around and string together moves, again, it's just like the art. There really is no one right way to do it. You just gotta find the way that works for you and just fits how you like to play. I mean, of course, I mean, the game is for you guys and how you want to play it. And if you're not having fun with the game because you're trying to play a style that doesn't quite fit how you would like, then I wouldn't advise trying to keep trying to learn that style. I mean, if you really want to, you can, but I'd advise actually trying to find another, try something new and something that's different. And then in this video, I'm going to help you try and identify that play style. So, uh, yeah, and I know this clip had already switched, and it's just a quick little, uh, game that I was in my EOC Raider with. It's not that great, but, you know, it's there, and I I don't want to bore you guys with just, like, no gameplay at all, so here it is, and let's just get right into uh, how you guys are going to find your playstyle. Now, finding your playstyle, again, there is so many different playstyles within the game that I could not list them all, but I am going to narrow it down to three major playstyles within the game of Hawken. Now, the three major playstyles that tend to really put pop-up are called aggressive, defensive, and supportive. And, okay, I'll first, I'll go over the, the three different playstyles uh, in themselves. Aggressive, as you can probably guess, these are the guys who are always on the front line, headfirst into danger, they're charging forward, going on the enemies, not giving them an inch, you know, <laughs> pretty much just balls to the wall, in your face type guys. That tends to be the more aggressive people. That is not my playstyle, and uh, usually whenever I talk about mechs, I'm probably not going to be talking about them in a much more of an aggressive light. Uh, you might have to find another pilot who makes videos to find a much more aggressive pilot. Now, while aggressive pilots, they tend to favor certain mechs, you can play any mech aggressively, it's just some mechs are harder than others. But definitely, if you want to, if you're going to consider the aggressive play style, um, yeah, I might not be the best guy for it. A couple of the other guys that I know, uh, guys like Vengeful Mech or Miracle, I'll actually leave a couple uh, links in the, to their channels below. You can probably take a look at some of their stuff, and they might give you a much better idea of how to play very aggressively. Now, the next play style that I'm going to mention is called Defensively. And hmm, defensively and aggressively, how I'm going to say it, uh, the difference is, is, is not uh, chasing versus camping. Defensive players are not campers. I mean, camping falls under defensive, but defensive itself is not camping. I'd say defensive players are the players who let the fights come to them. They don't chase the people, they don't chase people down trying to look for fights, they allow the fights to come to them. And generally they do that by putting them in a position, like for ambushes, is a great example of a defensive player. Defensive players will put themselves in a good spot to allow the fight to come to them, and so they're ready beforehand, while as an aggressive person, they'd have to think on their feet and uh, respond, uh, react to the situation. Whereas defensive players, they usually have an idea inside of their head, a plan, something that they're going to do, and they're going to usually try to stick to it the best as they can and adapt when necessary. Defensive is kind of the way I tend to play a bit more, but... Um, you know, defensive players, as I said, they don't really camp all the time. They usually still seek targets, but they do that through, like, harassing and, you know, flanking and stuff like that. That's usually how much more defensive players tend to play. <coughs> that and, sorry, that and, like, by holding positions such as staying on uh, control points and whatnot. <laughs> defensive players tend to be the sneaky people, so assassin mechs are uh, definitely a good option for defensive players. 
And of course, the last play style is supportive. Now, supportive isn't like you don't fight at all or the campers, no. Supportive means that, yeah, you're not always on the front lines and you're not so much seeking kills or like trying to go for the objective. Also, defensive players tend to try and, uh, you know, they go after objectives a lot more than, you know, trying to defeat people. The aggressive people and defensive people are a bit more about trying to kill other players. That's kind of what their focus is, like to try and accomplish their goal. In fact, actually a good way to explain it, aggressive people is to kill other people. Defensive people, uh, complete the objective, supportive players, save their teammates. I'd say I play a mix of supportive and defensive. Now, let me explain supportive to you guys. Supportive, as I said, they're the guys who keep an eye on their teammates. Uh, they're usually the ones who see a lone player. They'll go be their wingman to make sure that they have a buddy with them and they won't die as easily. Or they'll be the healer or the suppressive guy to make to keep the enemy pinned down. They fight. They tend to fight a bit more indirectly, not always like in people's faces or trying to, you know, always attack people. They see uh, a teammate who's trying to escape from a, a pursuing enemy, they'll go and intercept that pursuing enemy and, you know, save their teammate. Their, their uh, focus is to try to in keep their teammates alive more so than uh, trying to, you know, go out and directly get into fights. That's the supportive player. Now, uh, as I said, I tend to be a bit more supportive with a lot of defensive thrown in because I don't like to, you know, really bum rush people and uh, just get my face right into just get right into people's faces. I tend to like to lure people into traps and be more defensively in a fight. However, I do I will say though I tend to, to try and uh, always try to save my teammates whenever I can rather than focus on uh, you know trying to get kills or uh, strictly just going for an objective. I do tend to focus a bit more on objectives, and but I will say probably my bigger priority in the game is, you know, just keeping my team alive. And so that's just the example of my personal playstyle. And as I was talking through these certain things, if you found like, hey, I seem to be an aggressive guy, or hey, maybe I'm more defensive, or hey, maybe I'm more supportive, I, I wanted to tell you guys just what those things are to try and help you classify them and understand how you play better. Because you really have to be able to understand how you play better in order for you to get better. I mean, I think what uh, you have to know your you have to know yourself. I think like that's actually like written in the Art of War. Knowing yourself is just as important as knowing your enemy. Once you know yourself, then you can know your enemy much much easier. So knowing yourself is just knowing how you play, and, which is hopefully I helped you guys figure out which style you liked or which style you prefer to play. And also, once you find that specific style, don't feel like you have to stay within that one style. I mean, just because I say aggressive style is not my favorite way to play, I'll still play aggressively sometimes, just, you know, out of boredom or if I want to try something new. But, you know, this is just for you guys to help figure out what you're good at and, you know, to give you a good foundation on where to start. Don't limit yourself to just one particular style of play. You still want to try and, you know, do everything. I mean, we're gamers. We don't just want to do the same thing over and over and over again, right? But, yeah, find what works for you at first, and then once you know what you can do, experiment. You know, try doing something different. Like, do little tiny variations. Like, challenge yourself. But just to start off, find what you're good at. And hopefully, again, as I said, hopefully this video helped you find uh, what style that you tend to fit to and again the, really the best way to try and get better and to learn your style more is to just play the game I, Now I know that might seem like a bit of a cop-out But really it all comes down to playing the game and finding your place within it I can give you advice, but on such a generic subject such as play style All I can really do is give you a little bit of the groundwork on how things are and then you know Maybe suggest a couple things, but you know <coughs> ah, excuse me. But yeah, this is a really, really broad subject, so sorry if I'm not being uh, completely clear on a lot of stuff. But again, as I said, I hope, like, you know, all like all my videos, I hope this has helped you to some degree, and then you guys have found this useful. Uh, I'll probably continue on with my Mech Maneuvers Guide, although it'll probably be under something a little bit different, because as I was trying to make that video, I kept finding myself talking about different subjects rather than just trying to, strictly speaking, of how to move your mech around. It all fell under different subjects, so... I'll probably do that under like a different title, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this helped you guys to, you know, think about how you play and uh, what your actual play style is, and then, you know, maybe try to improve upon it. And once you figure this out, 
that is the first part of getting better. Knowing your place, and then from there, you are able to get better. And yeah, I got last place on this team, which is why I said it wasn't that great. But yeah, that's basically it for this video, guys. I hope this helped. I guess I'll see you guys on the next one, because this is Hobbs, signing out.